G'day everyone. It's going to be a hot one today, so I'm out here to have a swim in the lake and have a fish at the same time, chase some redfin, see if we can get some bigger ones. I'll be happy with little ones. <laughs> That's a fish. There we go, that only took a few casts. Got a little here already. Oh, I love this lake. Alright, calm down guy. Get your unhooked, I'll get you back in. There we go. Let's have a look at him. Number one. Got him on about the third cast. Nice little red fin. Let's get him back in. <laughs> Had a little take it then, but he spat it again before I could react. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. A little bit bigger than the first one, I think. Not heaps. And in fact, he's probably pretty much exactly the same size. <laughs> oh, this is fun. There you go, second redfin, guys, in about five minutes. Greens Lake redfin. Off you go, little fella. Got him. Oh, he wasn't far out. There was a bite just in front of me here actually further than I wanted to cast it, but that's all right. Mm, more weeds. Plenty of them floating around today. Yeah, if we cast. I literally can't have a cast without weeds, can I? Every cast. Every cast. Weeds. Oh. This spot's unfishable, guys. There is an absolute blanket of weeds covering this entire section of the lake. You can see a huge patch of them just here if it's coming out on the camera. But uh, they're just wrapping around me and every cast I'm bringing in a ton of weeds and... I can't catch any fish while the lure's not spinning properly. So I'm going to go try up at the other end of the lake with the hope that it's not like this up there. Alright, so I've come up the other end of the lake. Uh, from here I can't see any weeds in the water. So I'm hoping they're all way up there where I was. But I'm going to wait out here and see if the fishing's any better because over there I couldn't do a cast without bringing in a heap of weeds. See, we're right, oh, right there, a little red fin, up the shadow, right up near the top of the water. <laughs> got one. He's only little, but I got one. <laughs> he's having a fight. Oh, he's actually the biggest one I've caught today. There you go. <laughs> he's about 20 centimetres, guys. And look how red those fins are. That's very red for this lake. He's a little ripper, considering how much of a bad run I was starting to have up the other end. I am stoked to be able to come down here and keep catching fish. All right, mate. You go behind me. Try not to spook the ones in front of me because I want to catch some more. Yes! Oh no! <laughs> there you go, he would have been not far in front of me at all, somewhere there. So I'm hoping there's still some there. But he was on, but he got off. Oh, another one! 
There's a school of them right there. Come on. That's two I've had on and they just got off again. <laughs> oh, they're teasing me. That sun is getting hot. It's meant to be 42 degrees here today, guys. I'll put the Fahrenheit conversion for that on the screen for my American viewers. But 42 degrees is quite a hot day, let me tell you. There was a little one following that. It went that way. Oh, did you see that? Come on, guys. There they are. Out there. Yes. Oh, come on. I cast right into them and they didn't grab it. Yes! <laughs> I saw which direction they were heading, so I cast in front of them. <laughs> He's tiny. I don't care. I'll catch these little ones all day. They're just as much fun as the big ones for me. <laughs> He's only about 12 centimetres, but even he's got a fair bit of red in his fins. Look at that. If you remember the ones I was catching in mid and end of spring, they were very pale and they barely had any orange on their fins at all. But these guys are starting to get red fins and some nice stripes. Anyway, back you go over there behind me. Let's see if that school of little reddies is still around. Alright, so that was another bite just out in front of me here. actually can't stay too much longer guys that sun is roasting me and I actually forgot to pack the sunscreen so it's not safe for me to be out in this 42 degree heat I'll try and stay another 15 minutes or so hopefully catch another fish and then I'm gonna have to call it a day I think but not before I have a swim school of fish I was following has actually gone over there by the look of it so I'm going to try and follow them because I can see them working the minnows near the surface over here Let's see if I can catch another one before I leave ah oh, see they're right between where I cast and where I am. Yep. <laughs> There's method to my madness. <laughs> Another little one. I love it. But when you're in a lake, guys, always look around. Don't just keep casting in the one spot because uh, you will see signs of fish activity, like I just did, and you can actually aim for them, just like I did. He's only about 17 centimetres. Colours aren't quite as good as some of the others, but I am not complaining. Let's see if the school's still over there. They are, look, they're just further out. They're over there. Never mind. <laughs> I was just, he's a bit bigger actually. Oh, there you go. <laughs> look at him in the water there. <laughs> Alright mate, come on. Let's get you in. Oh, this is probably the biggest one I've caught all day, actually. Definitely the biggest one I've caught all day. He'd be 27 centimetres-ish. 
not too bad at all. Beautiful fish. Probably looking right into the sun with him, am I? Yeah, I'll put him this way. There you go. What a ripper of a fish. Biggest one all day so far. All right, I'll let him go and I'll try and get another one again. You ready? <laughs> Come on, one more fish before I go. But I can feel my face burning with that sun reflecting on the water. Oh, my cheekbones are on fire. Oh, look, see right over there. Come on, give me a bit closer, a bit closer, a bit closer. Perfect. Chasing this school of redfin all around the lake, guys. It's great fun. Just got to be patient and wait for them and then cast. Definitely caught more weeds than fish, but I think I've pulled in five or six redfin, so. Certainly can't complain. It's been a productive little morning. Oh, there's the school. Look, right in front of me. We're going to bring the lure straight past them. Got one. <laughs> Oh look, there's heaps coming with him. Till I made him breach the surface and then they all got scared. Oh, he had about five fish following him. That is so cool. There we go. But there's the proof, guys. You just watch for the school and you can actually target them. Oh, I'm keep looking at the sun, don't I? You can actually target the fish if you look at where the school is in the water. So, over there, in the shadow, he had a jump. <laughs> all right, hopefully they're still there. Well, on really hot days like this, guys, you can often see the redfin jumping around in the water, chasing minnows in that top of the water column. And you can actually follow them around and target them like this. As long as you've got a lure that they're interested in, which, I mean, it's redfin, so you can't really go wrong with a bladed spinner. Look, the hotter it gets, the easier it is to chase schools of redfin because they become more visible in the water because they're way more active. They're eating a lot, their metabolism's increased, but on really hot days like this, they'll get so active that you'll see them. You'll see them bust up in the water all over the place. And if you bring a lure that they're interested in back past them, you're almost guaranteed a fish. All right, guys. I was chasing that school of redfin around here just behind me. I'll tell you what, that is so much fun. When it gets really hot, like these 40 degree days, it's one of my favourite forms of fishing, is just waiting to see the school bust up at the surface. Cast your lure straight over it, bring it back through it, catch some reddies. It's a good way to have fun. I haven't looked in the mirror yet, but I'm willing to bet this side of my face is pretty red. I've probably got a tan line here from the GoPro strap, but oh well, that's part of it, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps support me and helps me uh, continue the strive to make more videos. So anyway, I'm going for a swim. See you in the next one.